story in a sudden move the government has appointed dr s jay shankar as the new foreign secretary replacing sujata singh months before her tenure actually comes to an end now the replacement comes just after the visit of us president barack obama sujata singh only the third woman diplomat to serve as foreign secretary was due to uh, for retirement in august 2015 You know, as I take over, I'm happy to uh, work with all of you. Uh, I know that uh, the media is an important part of our foreign policy production, so I don't think this is the time to uh, get into those kinds of questions. I really thank you all for being here today. I value your good wishes, uh, and I'm sure we'll have a lot to do with each other. I, I would say I'm very honoured that. I have been assigned this responsibility, and uh, uh, I look forward to working with all of you. Thank you. Whether the unceremonious sacking of the foreign secretary six months before her tenure ends has something to do with the principal stand that she had taken on the Devyani Khorbore affair, because coming as it does after a presidential visit, it raises eyebrows. Because if the prime minister was ostensibly unhappy. with the foreign secretary he could have asked her to go 9 months earlier why now the timing raises obvious questions so therefore the government needs to clear the air as to what was the real reason why the foreign secretary has been asked to go yai shankar is a very fine and a distinguished officer i know him personally this has something to do with the manner in which his predecessor has been removed after all the foreign secretary is the head of the foreign service yes. and if he was stacking her for incompetence or uh, because the prime minister was not un- was not happy with her work then why wait till after a presidential visit did something happen during the presidential visit government needs to clear the air a government is within its rights to decide how it would like to appoint what officers and with what responsibility and this is not the first time that the government or preceding governments have taken decisions i don't see any reason that anyone can attribute any political motives or otherwise this is the right of the government the congress party spokespersons can try to do politics or anything in any case it doesn't appear that they are inspired by their leadership that's why their constant method seems to be in trying to raise a hue and cry on issues also where there is no scope to do so how can you mix it with the appointment of a foreign secretary a government is within its rights to appoint any officer